Hello there everyone, my name is Sam and welcome to the technical alpha of Kingdom Come Deliverance. This game is already around for a long time, this technical alpha, I know that and the game should be released in the first quarter or second quarter of next year. I already looked at the game for a long time and I'm really waiting till it will be fully released and so I thought since it's getting closer and closer to give it a closer look, maybe a small review and show it to you guys and share with you my thoughts on the game. So let's get right into it because I watched a lot of the production videos and as far as I can see, ooh, since the last time they updated it a lot more, oh my god. Okay, one thing I have to switch off because it's always making me sick, it's the blur. <laughs> I hate it actually, I hate motion blur. As far as I can tell, the graphics are amazing in my opinion. And just for consideration, this is medium graphics. But the thing is, I can't switch it high on my computer right now, because then it would simply, yeah not work, it would lag as fuck. This was the best options I could choose to record and have a decent amount of graphics. So on a normal gaming computer it should work perfectly fine. Oh, there's a villager? No, it's a guardsman. And on really, really dedicated gaming computers it should run on an astonishing quality. So, so far I'm really impressed. Uh, can I see? Yeah, I can see my body. This is quite interesting. Let's directly talk to someone. Can I talk to you? Can I talk? Give me your helmet. I want your helmet. Stop. Stop it here. I want to look at you. Hmm. Okay. Let's get into the village. The controls are very nice, very smooth. It's rendering quite good. For technical alpha it's really beautiful already. Okay, the game will be released in not that far time, so they should get further and further from development. Oh. Yeah, but still you can see if, like typical alpha demos, they have this typical, that some kind of... Ooh, nice idea. Uh, the typical kind of texture problem that some textures are not rendering 100% proper or look at a little bit like this old kind of graphics, like you see here, the hand slices or something like this. But that are things which I can uh, live with. Oh, they added sleeping. You can finally sleep. I think you can eat as well. Uh, hard seems no. So they added already first things which you need to do, like sleeping or... I don't know what yet. The fire looks very beautiful. They made a really good job in making it feel... Alive. This house feels really alive and warm. Like long time I haven't seen in a game a house that much feeling like someone is living there, which comes back maybe after a long day. <clears throat> because normally, like for example, Skyrim is such typical kind of thing. There are many things in the houses, but a house doesn't feel alive simply because there are many things, but because of the way pe uh, things are placed, that it looks like things were in use, things were being eaten, consumed or something like this. What It looks like this there in my opinion. It looks really like someone was just using those things and maybe left just. Okay, uh, is there a road sign like... Ah, that's a very smart idea. So that you see that under construction. <laughs> oh god. This breaks so much the immersion. Okay, I can understand why they did it. I really do, but they could have made it simply with a wall out of, or a fence out of wood. This breaks for me now, the immersion so badly. I feel like, yeah, it's so immersive already. Oh, all, all the... I, it feels really like I'm in the bush right now. It feels for the moment that, yeah, such an open world, so beautiful, let's go. Oh, uh, wait, 21st century? But, okay, understandable, but in my opinion they could have made it differently, they, they really should have done it differently. Okay, but let's not stick around with this one thing and try to find a village or something where we can do more, because I saw in the updates that there would be already a combat system and also that 
or VIPs or something like this that you could become criminal. And when you do criminal things that people would react to it, report it, or, you know, simply try not to be around you. Ooh, that was a very nice animation that you jump really over the fence instead of, like, simply jumping high and you stand on the fence or something like that. Uh, Samopesh. Oh. Ah, yeah, because it plays in the Czech Republic in the time of the yeah, last crusade, I think, against the... Last Pagans of Europe. Oh, let's see the animation how he's smithing. Mm, a small bug yet, because simply that he's putting it through, but there are more such texture bugs, but I can live with that. It's an alpha. Yeah, there you can see again some texture things which they most likely will overwork. At least I do hope so. Smith something. But from detail level, it's very nice. Can I see myself from outside? Mm, apparently I can't right now. Oh, is it possible that I can loot? So, uh, I don't have anything to lock it. Oh, now I want to see how it works. Yay! Let's see if the because in one what video do you I saw about, that. Boy? Oh, very nice. What are you doing here? Me? Nice voice, I, I thought think, I might now. prattle about. Perhaps bake me a cake. Yes, yeah, a real big one right here in the forge. Certainly I couldn't <laughs> be, you know, smithing. <laughs> oh my god, he's so sarcastic. Okay, do you this make is... the locks and keys here? I used to, but people need tools, horseshoes, and nails more. Why do you ask? Um... I need to open a certain lock, and I don't have the key. Yes, that's the trouble with locks. You need a key to open them. So tough luck. Hop it quick before I tell the bailiff there's some tramp hanging around here who wants to rob decent people. No, no, that's not how it is at all. <laughs> oh, and yeah, we are not a thief. I for... Uh, do I look like a thief? Think up a young... So, this is a very nice style of dialogue that when you ask the obvious like in Skyrim if you would ask the obvious they would still give you a decent answer only few bots would really answer you such sloppy thing like mm, I'm making a cake but here it's really funny that because it feels a little bit more like this rough world because very often you would see in uh, many medieval things that uh, movies that they would be such nightly very often but it's a rough world why they should be nice to a stranger which is asking such a stupid question like what are you doing here yeah it's a smith what you should do smithing <laughs> okay so let's think of a good one think up a yarn so do you do i look like a thief i think up a yarn all right then i'll tell you uh, my wife took my house keys and locked up for the night if i want to go to the tavern i'll have to sleep in the hay and i've had enough of that a woman telling a man what to do that's a sad state of affairs isn't there any blacksmith where you come from? There is, but as luck would have it, he's my father-in-law. You know what? Take an axe and smash the door in. Show what a man you are. Oh! That... That was actually a very good story. But you could see so good that I was like... Like a tiny schoolboy which is coming to the teacher and saying, It wasn't me. It wasn't me. What the pussy, okay, but... Do I look like some kind of thief? Judge for yourself. You look like a person who asks funny questions. Yep, I am. Uh, okay, I bribe you. Look here, if you help me out, I'll make it worth your while. I think we're starting to understand each other. Ten groschen and I'll help you. Groschen? No, oh, they even took the original currency. Here you go. Excellent. If you want to deal with a lock, you'll need a lock pick. And by chance, I still have a few here. You can buy them from me if you want. Do you want me to show you how to use them? Sure. If you would be so kind. Hmm. I've got an old chest over there you can try it on. Oh, he's training us now how to lockpick. Ah, so... 
Try okay. poking around in the lock with the pick until you feel the right point where the tumbler is. Aha! So... Now turn the whole lock, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Oh my god, Easy this now. is... Easy now, there's no hurry. If it slips... Not too hard, is it? Go ahead. And this is a very nice thing. Spider web. Oh, nice inventory. Nice inventory, I have to say. Let me access the inventory. Hmm. I look like a peasant, but the clothings are very authentic. Okay, I'm not that much into medieval times, but the few things I know about this, like this kind of cloth. That they didn't have an entire long trousers, but this in parts. That you have basically shorts and then such leg parts. This is actually authentic. And I haven't seen this in a long time in a game. Or in a movie. Okay. Uh, blue hose. So. Ah. Okay. It's a little bit different than from all other RPGs. Because they try to make it also RPG like that. People which are not that good from... Yeah, fighting or something like this. What problem has, for example, uh, War of the Roses? War of the Roses, on the other hand, has the problem that in combat you need to be good, otherwise you die. And also you need to have enough money to buy good weapons. While here they make it also partly with RPGs, uh, similar that you can level up to give yourself more time to react, so that you have basically a better chance to survive. The inventory is nicely made from design, in my opinion, but there are a few problems from navigation. It could be a little bit more easy to understand. Okay, the inventory... Okay, actually it's quite understandable. Simply the colors are a little bit irritating me. Or maybe because I didn't have such an inventory in a long time. Hmm, the village takes a little bit longer to render properly. But here's so much to discover right now in this village. Oh, I think I found the tavern. That's a place for me. You see, the food has a tiny problem to render properly, but or that they're not eating it, but that are such animations which I think will fix when the first act comes out. By the way, they release it in act, so similar to the Wolf or Among Us or other games, they release it in parts. And each part will have a decent amount of storyline, which is already the size of Skyrim, I think, they said, the first act. So, it should be fine, especially with all these things to discover around. Okay. Birdhouses. Hay. It looks really like a village. Also, this mud. The mud looks... Did I make my shoes now muddy? Yep, I think I did. Okay, let's see. Let's talk to a woman. Let's see how they will react. Let me talk to Hello. that. Hey, you look upset. Is anything wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Naturally. What would be wrong? Are you sure about that? You know what? <laughs> I can help you. If you're you. so interested, go and talk to that ass I mistook for a husband. Okay, I will talk to your disgusting husband. I will need to change the settings. Can I talk to you? 
Can I have your weapon? Where's that smoke in the horizon coming from? I wish I knew. It looks like the Corbin's estate. Would you go and have a look there? Just see what's happening and then come back to me. All right. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Oh, so they added already some kind of missions. Interesting. The water looks um, really nice. Also, let's see how it reacts when I walk straight into it. Nice water effects, very nice water effects. You boy are ugly. Okay, it's a really quite small game, but I'm really surprised how well it is. Okay, also my frame rate drops because my recording program is not compatible with this game right now, so I'm sorry for the f not that good frame rate, but I hope you can see what I mean that this game has quite a lot to offer. Right now, you can still buy the pledges, so to support the uh, game makers. I think the cheapest one are $50 roundabout, and you get the technical alpha plus early beta access, and w uh, when the first act will be released, you will get it directly on Steam so that you can play it. And yeah, I never say that you should buy an early alpha game. I'm not for this to tell everyone, yeah, it's so great, buy it. Because I had often enough the problem that I was in an alpha or beta test, and when the actual game came out, and people were able to buy alpha and beta keys that when they were releasing the game to the masses, that the game started to get worse from production, and so you would rather regret it to buy it. So. I only would like you to check it out from time to time. Maybe make sure for yourself if you want to have it or not. Ooh, you are ugly fellow. Oh, there are a few dead people. Uh, I think there's a tiny bug. Oh, no. What happened here? You wouldn't believe. Cumans. Cumans? What? Just so. We've been hanging around here for weeks with nothing happening. And all at once, we're fighting tooth and claw with them. What are cumans? Something is fishy over here. That we're not cumans. I hope it's and not that our neighbor. Oh my god. May God have mercy on his soul. God damn things. Oh. Footpads, damned killers. They're the ones who should die, not us. Nice armors. Very nice armors. Even the horses. Of course, this kind of game is typically something for people which like for more the medieval time without fantasy elements. But, since there's also a pretty big community which likes um, medieval engineers, it should appeal to some of you, hopefully. Okay, what, what happened, happened here? here? Uh, who are you? My name's Henry. I'm from Silver Scullets. My god. Scullets didn't fare well. I'm Martin. And this here is my friend Miroslav. Miroslav the Cumans okay. attacked here. There were more men wounded, but Miroslav here, I'm afraid, he won't last out the night. Wow. Can I help somehow? Maybe you can. We don't have a field surgeon here, and wine isn't killing the pain for him anymore. He needs something for the pain? That's right. Something really strong. Ooh. Do you know anyone who knows about herbs, healing, and the like? I'll ask around do and please hurry I would like to know if this uh... hang on I'll find someone ah Mary I hope... oh, mother of God Ooh. I would like to know if we can take too long that if we take really that we derp around and we don't do what we were told to if you will die because, like Skyrim, they say, hurry, and nothing ever happens. I would like, finally, game, because there are a few games which actually really want you to hurry when they tell you. And I love such games, basically, because it's great when you are having consequences of your behaving. That, for example, yeah, they say, hurry, and you're like, oh, no, I do 10,000 other things. 
instead. And this is also in general a Bethesda problem, I think, because even in Fallout 4 is thought. They tell you you need to hurry because but all missions have trigger zones that unless you go into the trigger zone, it won't start even. Okay. Beehives? Okay, great. But really, the house design is also amazing in my opinion. All these tiny animals. I wonder if they have pigs already around here. Because till now I saw only chickens. Reminds me a little bit of Skyrim. All those chickens. No, but I'm really happily surprised about this technical alpha. Okay, talk to him. Smoke on I the went horizon. to find out what the smoke on the horizon is from. And? Do you know what's happening? Yep. The Cumans have attacked the Colbin estate. Christ almighty, Cumans? That's not good. No, but Divish's men killed them. Hopefully all of them. Divish? Yeah, that would be Zbyszek von Karolinenthal who set up camp here. Well, I suppose we're in no danger. Listen, though. Ask the soldiers if they need anything. Let them see that we look after our guests. Mm. Do you know anyone around here who understands herbs and remedies? Indeed Stop I do. Gaping, In the woods below Samopesh, there's an old herb for. woman. Wow. A herb woman. Is there anything interesting going on here? I'm worried about the smoke on the horizon. You surely noticed yourself. Yeah, I I there was you. fire okay. around Boys, Mephoyed. Look at the rear end on that. Mm. Okay, so there are tiny bugs with the dialogue system, but because this was clearly a statement which he was putting out, which we already told him about what happened, and he still was going on about it. But this shouldn't be a big problem, this is a tiny thing. So till now, even if it is small, it's a solid alpha, looks very nice. It is playable, I wonder if I will get a weapon in this. I will cut out most likely some parts of this to don't repeat most parts. Oh. He's getting out of breath very nicely. I can still run somehow. Okay. There's another village. I'm not sure though if I can reach it already. So how it seems till now most of the map is already finished, only not accessible due to the reason that this is a, yeah, not even really the alpha build, or yeah, this is the alpha version, but you know what I mean, it's yet a technical demo, so it's just to show off some parts of it. Quite in interesting. The armors are very nicely detailed, because look at this guy, look at him. The sword on the one side, the longbow, I think, on the back, it's very nicely made. And there's a military camp. Let's look at it and judge afterwards if we can get weapons, for example, how nice it would be to wield it in this game. Because I would like to give a quick review on the combat system as well, if I can. Hey there, sir. Let me go through. Who's in charge here? I want to learn sword fighting. Listen, who will teach me how to sword fight? Try the master sword fighter. He's probably standing somewhere around the arena. Great. Perfect. Oh, is that a dead man? Is he... Is that a buck or is he dead? <laughs> I think he's dead. And no one cares. Who's in charge here? Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, it's Why a dwarf! 
in the camp. He's a dwarf now. I made out of him a dwarf. I'm a giant. Oh my god! And now you went back to be a dead man. He's sleeping. Okay. Okay. This is a tiny bug, but it's okay. I think it's fine. Oh Are you my serious? god! What? What? Do you want to fight with me? Where's the arena? There's the arena, okay. Ah! You're finished! Ah! Mm. Okay. I want to learn to sword fight for like some training in handling a sword. Ah. That's commendable. But my services aren't for free. For five groschen, I'll teach you the basics. Hey, stop dancing Monkey and start stuff. fighting! <laughs> oh my god, You're even finished. they're shouting yeah. such Sounds good. Things. When do we start? Right away if you like. Take this wooden sword and come to the arena. Ah! Okay. Let's see how it goes. I hope it will be as good as in the previous they showed. Okay. That thing you have in your hand is a sword. I'm a human and I want to kill you. Try walking around a bit. Movement around the battleground is just as important as being able to wow. swing. Look at him move, actually, while I move. Very nicely. Right. Now let's try the basics. Aim for my head and attack. Ah, so... You change your attack zone by aiming for the head. So, for example, I slash in that Good way that God. I'm... I, in some way, attack in a manner of... In For Christ's sake, at the head! Understand me? Yeah, I understand That's it. you. Try attacking from various angles. You can stab and chop. So we drag, like in um, War That's of the right. Roses, the weapon to the various zones. That's right. Ah, so Q and T is automatically blocking. But how it seems... Very nice. Ah, Q, you hold Q and he's automatically blocking into the That's right enough. direction. Notice how exhausting it is holding the sword above your head. Now, I'll show you how a master blocks. Attack! Okay. See, Master wait block, for the strike, okay. and only fend it off when you see exactly where it's going. Attack! Oh, ah, so... Okay, if I will time it better... Again! No! <laughs> Yeah, you hit it my head, boy. That's very unique in a game no. till now. It is hard to learn, but I think in with time or with skill it should be able to be done quite fast. Because I could already block him off Quite good. You see, it has a steep learning curve, way more steep than uh, War of the Roses had. Because War of the Roses, the second part was actually about that you have a weapon, which will be easily able to be wielded. And there were, for example, certain weapons which didn't make sense to be wielded that fast. Okay, I need to time it good. Now I'll show you a trick. You can lead an opponent by the nose. You give a few basic strikes, and when he least expects it, you attack out of rhythm. Defend yourself. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. Block with Q. Now you try it. If you link together a series of strikes, then you can attack unexpectedly. A strike like that is almost impossible to fend off. Okay.
I punched him out of the ring. Great. So, the combat is very nicely hey, made. stop dancing and start fighting! Yeah, do as he said. So I think I'm gonna leave the episode here. Wow, nice weapon holding. I hope you liked this short uh, review or preview on this game. And I hope you will stay with me if uh, or when the full game will be released. And I hope you s I see you around. Stay positive everyone and see you in the next video.